I wanted to show a good little build here. This is a modified thinking P16. I've lightened it up, added a model locator because these are pretty small. If you lose them in grass, it's hard to find them. Change the flight controller. This flight controller, it has a yard for the video and for the crossfire receiver. They were using soft serial. The factory board was using soft serial for the video, which was very annoying. It would be blanking out. The boards are a little bit harder to get. Everything's on my rotor build, all the parts. But you can still get them. So I wanted to show I lightened up with aluminum screws. The back of the camera is taken off. The Vista is taken apart and cleaned, and I cleaned it with ethyl alcohol and toothbrush. And then I also used circuit board cleaner. It cleaned out everything on the blue. Light antenna, strain relief, a little bit of Welder 2000. And I'm going to be doing some range testing with just these simple 12.9 millimeter wires versus, because I can't notice any range problems at all. Motors are balanced. I have a video. This thing runs super smooth. I'm also including the model setup. And I have some pretty neat things going on in the transmitter. Disarm motors are so we got our arming. Metal rate, low rate, we got some rates. Rate, I pretty rate. much always use high rates though. Other side, we got our level mode. Air mode. Then air mode. The back side is black box erase. Turtle mode. Well, that's turtle mode. Flip it over. Black box erase. Black box erase. And then also on the mixing, if you're flying indoors with level mode, it's helpful to have some mixing so that the throttle increases the more you lean. So if you watch the throttle there, when I move the stick. throttle goes up. Any deflection raises your throttle and that keeps you at a same altitude when you're flying level mode indoors. I fly acro outdoors uh, as it's a more natural feel but I can't fly acro indoors. Level is much more precise. I'm also using RPM filtering so the flight controller knows the RPM and it gives a tighter notch filter or it does that automatically. These things actually go to 60,000 RPMs. So I fly in acro or air mode. It's a much more relaxing way to fly. And have the PIDs tuned where this is rock solid for a tiny little whoop. It's actually some decent wind today. So here I'm just dropping, just drop, kill the throttle, just see a little bit of prop wash. So that PID controller is actually knocking that out. Now here's a dive, low throttle. You do have to raise the throttle right at the bottom when you pull out. That's kind of normal on a whoop. There was a slight bit of washout right there. If I try a heavier battery like a 450, it can't really handle it. And you'll get a lot of washout on dives. The 300 milliamp 3S is the best performance. I like the whoop, it's so quiet. The little garden I always fly over.
you can download the CLI. It just applies for that board. If you use a different board, make sure the pin IOs are appropriate for the board that you're on. <clears throat> I spent a lot of time tuning this thing. At least a hundred flights. Hope you like watching the video. Thanks for watching.